Hey, what's up everybody? Pierre from Solomon Firearms Training. Today we're gonna to be testing out our brand new pepper spray uh, gun. So basically it has little balls of um, pepper spray. It's supposed to be accurate up to 65 feet. So we're gonna be shooting at this uh, blue dumpster right here. We want to see one, how powerful the round is being fired. Also, um, how big the cloud is gonna make. So these are inner rounds in there. We're gonna use it for practice. And then our good buddy Mark is gonna get a couple of rounds too. Um, always treat anything that is shaped like a firearm like a gun. So keep the gun pointed in a safe direction, finger off the trigger, and keep it unloaded until ready to use. Obviously, we're gonna use the firearm. So uh, I'm gonna check out the sights to see how accurate they are um, and see if just the impact of the round itself is gonna be, be a deterrent to the bad guy. So we're at a pretty good distance away. So we all just thinking about like a room length distance. Uh, you probably don't want to bring this outside your house. Uh, people will probably take it as a gun and you'll probably end up getting shot by the cops. So uh, yeah, don't do not do that. So I'm going to be aiming at the left one right there. Uh, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to be looking through the sights. It actually has a safety as well. I'm going to be taking a look, lining up the sights. And okay, let's see if that fires. Oh, okay. Uh, you want to come in? Uh, so it ripped the paper. All right, so it definitely put a nice dent. Yeah, that looks like it's definitely going to hurt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that definitely look, look, look like it's going to hurt. So what we're going to do in the future is we're going to put some items and see what it can penetrate. Uh, it was actually pretty accurate. Um, I was aiming center mass. Well, girl, you gotta be behind me so people. I know why. I was trying to see how far back you was going. Girl, you got. I don't need to be that close I to the target. Know. Back up. Yeah, I show these people. I got. I got aim. All right. I got aim. So I'm lining up. Where did that hit? Kind of at the top it. by the tape. the tape. Okay, so this is shooting high. Okay. Uh, sights are a little high. I'm gonna aim at a lower point. Same spot. Mm -hmm. Same fucking spot. Jesus Christ. All right. Let me bring my front sight down even fucking lower. Holy shit. Oh, All right. No, no. So you gotta bring the front sight down really low. Um, let me let me see how quickly it could shoot. So it could fire pretty quick. All right, Mark, you're gonna get a shot. Uh, aim very low. We're gonna put it on safe, drop the mag, keep it pointed in safe direction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is how you reload. We'll do a full video on how to actually reload it and everything. But um, yeah, it shoots actually pretty quick. Keep the front sight all the way on the bottom. Okay. Because if you do it standard like a gun, it's, it shoots super high. So. Um, but yeah, but otherwise than that, you hit some mark. Like shoot the marble. And then uh, safety is right here. Yep. So just push it off, Red, you're dead. I got you. So mark right here, you got mark? Mm-hmm. So right. aim at the one to the right. I told you to shoot that shit low. Oh, yeah, I'm shooting. Uh-oh, it's shooting high, you got to be lower. Nice shooting left. All right. So this cartridge is the the CO2 on this is now expended. Oh, there's no more. No, it's it's there, but you can see the impact is very dull. So that's it's not shooting with the power that you shot it with. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, it's not breaking the paper. Okay. Right. You can see that it's not breaking it. So that was ten shots, and ten shots that CO2 is pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. Okay. So you'd have to change out the cartridge after the first. Say after the first 10 rounds go through it, yeah. it's like that cartridge is going to be gone. Um, all right, do you have any ammo left? Yeah. Ah, burn it. All right, that's all it. Right. So I definitely see the, the cloud of, uh, of, of uh, pepper spray. Um, there's definitely a cloud there. Um, 
Yeah, it's not as big as I thought. I don't know why I thought it'd fill up like a whole room. I guess I was kind of dumb for me thinking that, but you could definitely see. Yeah, if you hit somebody in their face, that's definitely gonna be a problem. Um, so yeah, so we'll do some more testing. Uh, other than the front sight being, um, having to be put it really low in the rear sight. Pretty accurate. All right, cool. So y'all heard what Mark said? Mark said on a windy day like that, if he got hit with the pepper ball, that the cloud of pepper would not even affect him and it would dissipate into the yeah. air and he would yeah, have zero yeah, effect. A <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he was talking shit about Saber Red's freaking pepper gun. What's the official name for this thing? Uh, the pepper launcher. gun, pepper spray gun. Pepper spray launcher. Pepper, pepper spray launcher. All right, it's so a pepper spray gun. Whatever. But he's out here talking hella shit, talking about, yo, this thing can't affect me. It's going to dissipate in the air. <laughs> da, 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 da. So you know what it is. There's only one way to find out. Hey, at Solomon Firearms Training, we always give real reviews. No paid review, no bullshit. All right, if we're going to sell your product, we believe in it. We've tested it on ourselves, and we're going to make sure it's work. So we're gonna test Mark's theory on a very cold and windy day like this. He's putting his jacket on because uh, he's afraid of the impact. <laughs> and we're gonna see if on a wind, windy day, if the pepper ball would actually affect him. All right, thanks a lot, we out. So Mark was talking trash about our pepper spray gun here. He said it wasn't gonna be effective on a cold, a uh, windy day like this so he has his eye protection on he has his ear protection on he's gonna put his clothes on just like he would every day um like he was going for work and we're gonna test to see how effective we want to see how big the pepper cloud is and we're gonna see if his theory of it being a cold windy day that it's gonna have zero effect like he claimed uh we're gonna be aiming center mass you always want to aim at the biggest part of the target and um we're gonna test that theory and we have some decon for him some good old-fashioned h2o and uh <laughs> we'll see we'll see how effective this product is mark any uh any words yeah i should have kept my mouth shut <laughs> yeah so we have a great volunteer you guys want to follow in mark's footsteps come in fill out a waiver and we will be happy to get you on our production team so shout out to sft media let's get it on so go ahead and be against this wall right here oh. What we're also going to be looking for, uh, go ahead and yeah, yeah, put your back against the wall. 21, so about 22 feet. Yeah, so. And side note, if this creates a giant cloud, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have seven rounds in the magazine. Mark thinks he's getting out the cloud. <laughs> all right, Mark is going to be getting all seven rounds. All right. Yeah, just mag. You got to get the mag. <laughs> oh, that ain't right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you only tell him 10% of it. All right. All right, I'll take the first one in the chest, the rest you can shoot me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can turn it around, you can do whatever you want, bad guy, all right? Oh, no. So, well, no, we wanted to test the theory, is the first one actually weaker than, than the rest of them? Okay. All right, Mark, are you ready? Oh, God. Do you have your eyes on? I got my eyes on. Do you on. have your ears? Are Hold you safe? Hold the first shot. Yep, close your mouth. Don't open, don't open your mouth. All right, ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Does it hurt? Yes. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Does the pepper spray get you? <laughs> no, but the pain did. The oh, pain my got God. you. Well, scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the pain? Right now, 10. <laughs> oh. Don't get close to the... To oh, the... yeah, you right. <laughs> and you're getting zero effects of the pepper spray? Nothing right now. Okay, so Mark was right. Uh, he's not feeling any pepper irritant or anything? I can feel a little bit in my eyes, yeah. Now I'm starting to feel it, okay. but I think <laughs> I have eye protection on. Oh, well... Yeah, oh, that maybe that's why. Too. That might be why. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the coughing began. Mark, are you feeling any pepper area? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wow. He didn't take the jacket off. We guess it worked. You know?
Mark, why are you changing the jacket? I've been cold out. <laughs> I'd rather be fucking cold. <laughs> Alright, so we are laughing, but we are taking good care of him. We've done pepper spray a ton of times. Ah, uh, yes, you can feel it. <laughs> the pepper <Yeah>. ball work. <laughs> you want to be decon? Are you feeling alright? I'm feeling alright. I'm just. Oh man, that hurt. Alright, do you want to continue to be a bad guy and break inside my house? No, that was enough to turn it the first one. That was extremely painful. So the That's first one was really painful. Extremely. The first three. They hurt. <laughs> you got one in the shoulder. I didn't feel that one. That one zipped. So I didn't really feel it. The ones that hit me in the chest, square. I got three right here and they were re really painful. <laughs> this thing hurt more. <laughs> and now I'm starting all over myself. So. Now he's starting all over. But if you want decon, we're ready to decon you. Nope. <laughs> Best thing for you is air. Would you recommend this pepper spray launcher? Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely give you a second thought. <laughs> and a lot of laughs. <laughs> Woo! We got the best volunteer. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Mark's like, yeah, no, I don't feel no pepper. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. And all of a sudden it hit you. See, Mark was smart. He took off the jacket. The jacket took a lot of the, the, the pepper oh, stuff. Yeah. yeah, I tell you, if I got hit without that jacket on, I wouldn't be standing. <laughs> no, those were extremely painful when they hit. It's like a paintball on steroids. It's like you <laughs> there's one there's one live one there it didn't break oh that live one didn't break Ooh. so that can be shot again live one doesn't break and he goes towards where the pepper ball is going. <laughs> why why would why would you do that sir <laughs> let me go walk into the cloud of pepper <laughs> why, why, why would you why would you do that so you got corona you're coughing please stay away from us you have to be six feet away okay just let me know when that camera goes off <laughs> well, leave it off with a camera yo look at mark's chest after being hit with it yo oh damn son. one two three damn that hurts well and that's yeah. for the jacket Shirt. That's with a jacket, shirt, nice padding. So yeah, don't be breaking inside nobody's house. You're gonna get shot with this pepper spray gun. All right. Woo, damn.